Hello and welcome to an episode of Advanced GIS. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at GIS workflows and how to use Python programming and model builder to create reproducible workflows in ArcGIS Pro. Once we've created these steps and these layers, now it's all about determining where the outlet is located. I created a new text file, which you can do simply by coming in here and clicking, right-clicking new text document. My text file, I titled outlet underscore geo.txt. I gave it three header columns, ID, latitude, longitude, or L-A-T-L-O-N for short. My first row in my table, I'm giving ID one. My latitude is 38.3326, and my longitude is negative 122.3107. These are in geographic coordinate systems. Saved as a text file. And now I want to add this to my map. Simply come back over to catalog, and I find my outlet geo.txt. Under map, I can click add data, X, Y point data. Input table is simply my outlet geo.txt file. I find in my project folder and I click OK. The output feature class is given a name here. I'd rather this just be called outlet underscore geo. X is the longitude, Y is the latitude. So longitude is east and west, latitude is north and south. Z field, there is none. And do we want GCS WGS 1984? No, I would rather this be the Napa Dem Geo, which is GCS North America 1927. Conveniently grabbed from the raster data set we projected at the beginning. And I'll click run. And change the symbology of my point to make it easier to see. I now have an outlet defined for my watershed. I want to figure out what watershed is associated with this outlet. The next step in watershed delineation is called finding the pore point. In order to find the pore point, I want my input outlet to be in the same coordinate system as my raster data sets. And presently it's not. I want to project my point to the UTM coordinate system that matches my rest of my raster data sets. So I'm going to define an output shape file for storing my file. I'm going to call it outlet utm dot shape. My output file is located in my project folder called outlet utm dot shape. Right now, my coordinate reference system is GCS North America in 1927. I want to create the UTM version of this. So I'm going to create a new or overwrite this existing with ArcPy spatial reference. And this time I want NAD 1927 UTM zone 10N.
Let's see if it finds it. It does. Let's look at its name. NAD 1927 UTM zone 10 N. I'm going to save this as my SR object so that I can now project my shapefile. Vector projection in ArcPy is in project management tool. We see that the only option is the outlet geo. I'm going to select that. And now I can select where the output data set will be located in my out file, the output coordinate system is defined by my SR and all other options are optional. Okay, we now see that outlet UTM has been added to our map. If I uncheck it, we see that it is in the exact same location as my previous point. We did not change where it's located spatially. We only changed its coordinate reference system.